Thank you very much for having me. So today we'll be looking at adoption. What do you think about adoption? Do you think that it should be supported in Nigeria, Mrs. Popola? Well, I've always supported adoption. Okay. Because are so many lovely children out there in orphanages, motherless babies' homes, looking for a home where they'll be what loved. 
And there were many childless couples who are looking for children, mm -hmm. running from little of adopting, they're running from one mountain to the other, going through many rituals yes. just to have a child that they will never have in the end. Yes. Nothing stops them from doing or adopting one of those children. Yes. If you go abroad, you find out that some people, some couples choose not to marry. They there was a story I read many years ago. Yes. The man adopted 10 before he got married. The woman adopted five before she got married. Yes. By the time they got married, they had 15 children between wow. them. Wow. But that's in the Western world. It's not like yes. that in Nigeria. But you know the funny thing? Yes. Some people do that in Nigeria, but they, because of the stigma, they pretend. Okay. I first stories of people going abroad, pretending, being away for nine months, yes. pretending yes. as if, and then coming back with an adopted baby. Baby, yes. All in the baby. I know of a deputy governor. The second child has one, he only has one real child. Several ones adopted. But people we don't know. Thank you very much, Ma. So, Mr. Tomiwa. What do you have to say, sir, about um, adoption? What do you think are the risks involved in having an adopted child? Mm -hmm. um, adoption is very good, like um, Mrs. Boyla said, yeah. but um, for everything that has a good side, there is a bad side. A bad side. Yeah. We've had. Um, series of um, parents who seem to be very very accommodating and hospitable yeah. okay. they get to they okay by nature by chance they they, they, they got married they don't have children yeah. and you will think that because they are looking for children of their own they go to adopt the child or they may be two yes. and at the end of the day um they start maltreating these children. Yes. There's something comes into them and says, okay, this is not your biological not child. And they start to unleash their uh, other side. Because of what the society says yes. about them so and all that. Um, mm -hmm. as, much as, as much as I want to agree with Mrs. Ukwala that adoption mm -hmm. is good, we've had series and series of okay. um, stories of um, parents who adopted children. Mm -hmm. And the end, they, the, the children would, would have, I feel, they would have been better off staying at the, the um, motherless baby So where they can take care of them yes. and all that. Yes, but the case is just so different in Nigeria. And Mrs. Kukwala, and there is this issue that um, some parents they use their adopted children for child trafficking and all that. But they well, for business, especially in Nigeria. This is heartbreaking, well, I don't know. How would I say it? It's not peculiar to adopted children. Some people also use their own biological children yes. for such. Okay. All those children you see hawking, running around on the express road, running after cars. Yeah. They all have parents. Mm -hmm. They all go back to a home at the end of the day. Yeah. So we cannot say it's peculiar to adoption. Mm -hmm. Don't you be stories of parents because of poverty selling their children? They do. They do selling their babies. Yeah, there's even a recent yes. word that. So if they can do that to their biological children, what do we think to be what? There'll be an exception to adopted adoption. children. Adopted children. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you, even then, okay. if you if you if you adopt your child legally, okay. there's a ministry in charge to do what? Okay. Monitor. Monitor. Yeah. It's supposed to be a minister, a ministry in charge to do what? Monitor to ensure you are taking adequate care. Of that. But they are not functioning effectively. Hey, so try that. Okay, the law is there. It's for us to do what call up on the relevant stakeholders mm -hmm. to do what rise up to their responsibilities. So, Mrs. Well, well um, Mrs. Well, I, I also want to agree with the fact that there are relevant ministries who are supposed to be monitoring. But do they have to wait for? And people, people to call their attention to, okay. to do what they are what they are established to do. Okay. I say no. Okay. It's um, we are we are in a situation where um, we have we have laws, yes. we have um, statutes, okay. but to to get them effected is a problem. Mm -hmm. To go and meet who is involved or who is in charge, they, they will start making you feel like they are doing you a favor to yes. do what they are necessarily supposed to do. So it's it's a bigger problem in our in our society. environment okay. in our society. That you get to adopt a child, they don't even. Sometimes they don't even have the record of the child you you you, you gave out adopted to somebody else. Yes. So it's really really a big problem in our country, and in yes. Nigeria. You, you, we, we don't. Let's not even talk about adoption alone. Do we have do we have um, do we have records of what of what happens in Nigeria in all other places? So it's a bigger problem that we have. So. Adoption, I feel what the government should do, instead of giving these kids out to parents who are looking for them, why don't you empower all of these motherless to babies? Yes. Uh, this, what you are expecting okay. these parents to do, okay. empower them, okay. then let them take care of it. Yeah, but you know the Nigerian factor, 
Yes, ma'am. Every child deserves to be loved. Yeah. yeah. Many of these homes, the children are so many, and yeah. the Nigerian factor, like I just, an orphanage in in Ota, I adopted the Jamido motherless. That they call it Jamido's children's home. Mm -hmm. Many of the things I take to them, somebody told me, ah. Are you sure that they are, they are they caregivers they are and not the ones who are taking it? I say, well, yes. I've done my own part. Exactly. But that's what happens, like they point out to us that that's what normally happens. You, you donate with all your heart, all your love, mm -hmm. and somebody does what? Takes it. It, it, it's, 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 it's also the same thing. But if, you um, give up. It's also the same thing if you if, if we are scared of giving out stuff to motherless babies mm -hmm. home. With the with the, fa um, with yeah. the fear that the caregivers will eat. Will eat it. Yeah. Uh, what about giving the kids to parents and we don't know what oh, happened okay. to no, that? There's supposed to be a, a monitoring. I would say I, 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 suggest, I suggest that we forget about those ones because they are not functional. I don't know which ministry. Because they are not functional. There's a ministry. There, in charge. there is there is there is a there is a human rights um, uh, ministry that uh, uh, that they have a they have a body. They are the not supposed. The, 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 the basic truth is. The, the why they are established is not for people to start calling you we have a situation here you have the record of kids that have gone out why why don't you like, why don't you work along with these motherless babies i mean these motherless homes and see okay let us pay a courtesy visit they don't have to know that is you when you catch them by surprise is even when you get the real picture okay yeah because a lot of people actually fake it you see people at the bus stops they're the expecting area. you oh welcome, welcome. the whole the house is clean the, the, the baby's room is very clean yes you're not supposed to inform them before yeah, you go yeah, so, so in, in comparison with other countries do you think nigeria is fair ah nigeria we have a long <laughs> way to go we have a long way to go but we not give up yet Okay. Should not give up. Yeah. What I'll just advise that what the media too should carry out sensitization. Mm. I would like to see mm. sensitization. Yes, yes now yes. sensitizing okay. the public okay. awareness. Yes. Okay. Like I said, people are around at least there's an orphanage is always situated in a particular neighborhood. Yes, yes. You should to do or see, detect okay. some okay. things and then do or notify the relevant okay. authorities. Yeah. You want to observe certain things, you like you hear children crying all the time, something's what going on. Oh, yes. there. Those children they manage and all that. So they live amongst so they, all these orphanages are situated in our neighborhood. Mm. Can keep an eye. Then number two, okay. the churches, the part of you must influence wherever. I always use church, 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 church because Nigeria is a very religious, religious country. country. Yeah. Okay. So I use church because I'm a Christian. Okay. The churches to have a role so to play. play. Yeah. So the when Jesus was role. around, he did what he went around showing love. These are vulnerable children. people in our society. Yeah. We can even have that many people are in the church 24 hours because they are looking for children. We can also encourage them. I have somebody on my street. Okay. If I has his house is so big that somebody thinks it's a hotel. Yeah. His because wife, I think, that not. True. You know, who says so? They don't have a child. And he's not thinking of her. If I did, oh, I talked well, about well, adopting. Well. They wanted to kill. They don't believe in adoption. It's because of what That's the not one thing. If this man dies, all these houses, who is going to be going inherit. To yeah. And he's there, he's there, and he's a Christian. Okay. So I think the churches too should make good that this award, they were all created by God. God. Yeah, they mm -hmm. should be loved and... If biological children can do or go bad, yeah. or go the wrong way. Yeah. So what prevents? So that does not mean because it's not a biological thank child, you, you cannot much, love or do something. Thank you. So right so now, own take. Oh, thank you very much. Sure. Well, right now we're going to go on a very quick commercial break. When we return, we will see the views of people out there what they think about adoption, if it should be supported or it should be scrapped in Nigeria because this is a very big issue and it That's needs to be attended to. We will be right back. I had invited the boss for lunch. Okay. Then I get called to handle some emergency. Then my plan B, the caterer, gets hopelessly stuck Happy somewhere. Of me. What? Then I call hubby and he says, What? What are we going to do? Relax, we got this. No, we don't! Now it's up to me and him to save the day. Uh, you okay? Uh, With help from something special. The new Ninja Pot Seasoning from Maggi. Specially made from natural stockfish, smoked fish, crayfish, and other ingredients. To give your soups and pottages that Nigerian bottom pot taste. Mmm. You need to tell me how you got that bottom pot taste. And then later, she says, Come see me Monday morning. Let's talk about the new branch we're opening. Just then, my plan B shows up. 
And just when I thought the drama was over. Ah, my sister, let's go to this. Delicious, but don't put Nothing is bad in adopting the kid of anybody outside there. For me, um, we have a notable people that already adopt some people and they are well wonderful doing well in the society. We talk about Joker Silva. She was adopted also by um, mom that silver. If I can remember if that is correct. Anyway. So nice. I don't think there's anything bad in it. All you just need to do make sure you do a proper documentation. And that's all. That's all. In Nigeria nowadays I can easily say that we really need adoption. So families need help. And how can you help them? You can adopt maybe one of them if you know you can capable. But basically, if you go to a biblical way, let me tell you, givers shall never lack. So whatever you give out to one or two people, definitely God will bless you back in order to vote. So mentally, so some people believe me and my family alone, and they can't go beyond that level. So it's just left for you to use what God has blessed you to help people because when you like it or not you are going to like climb one people's shoulder to get to where you are going to it's not about the cars you are buying it's not about the houses you have it's not about your wealth but people that you raise up the people that you raise up is part of people that you adopted well as for me i would say that adoption should be important you know there are some families that that on everything, you know, give birth to you know, children. So they should be encouraged to go to go out there and adopt you know, kids. Some families self, some ladies, some of them, because I've heard of a situation where a woman said she's not interested to give birth to a baby. So such a person should be encouraged to adopt. Children or kids. You should be encouraged. You should be encouraged. The government should encourage it. That's a, it's a good thing. And there are some kids, you know, their parents, maybe some you know, wayward girls, let's say like that, burn them and uh, dump them on the wayside. And uh, maybe government or all these orphanages pick them up and uh, Join them up to a level that you know, maybe families can come up and adapt any of them. Wonderful change to for people that can take care of the children. Not only the people that are born children can take care of the children. That is what the abortion means. When you need more, you can take more. When God provides for you to take care of more children, and maybe biologically you yourself cannot have can go and look for more you can take care so that that life will not be useless to the society. God bless me beyond what I'm expecting. Okay. I can adopt more than I can do. If I'm in a situation that probably I'm unable to, you know, have one myself, that is uh, give back. Of course, I will, I will go for it. But generally for me, I can adopt. I even have it as a plan. I want to have two kids after that I adopt the baby. I think it's just the thing we need to do for the society of life. If I'm buoyant, I can do it. As I said, wonderful thing. It's a good idea. It's a new welcome.
Welcome back if you're just joining us. It has been interesting out here and then we've been talking about adoption, how you can show love to a child out there. You know, a lot of people don't really buy the idea, but then with our guests in the house and all that, we really had a good time. It's always an interesting day and an interesting topic and that all that on Unique TV, Light Out is a show and all that. So you can join us on our social media handle facebook and you can also join us on our website www.tv.com you can join us next week for another enlightening and interesting topic where we'll be discussing things that matters in the society i remain ngozi Obudu. thank you for staying with us today it's bye bye